All right, what are we on? Uh, April 16th, so uh, it's about that time of year when I'm getting ready for graduation, so I thought uh, most people don't know what goes into getting ready to stream graduation, so I thought I'd let you in on a little bit what I do. Here we go. So first of all, um, we are gonna put the cameras out on the football field and we need a way to get the camera feed to our TriCaster to stream. So the way this works, we take the HDMI out of the camera. So it goes out of the camera into this little device here, uh, Spark. So it goes in here and the Spark takes it from the HDMI in and connects it to the network. And that's just goes on to the school network and it only works within our school. But anyway, so this device will be with the camera. Um, we are in the process of trying to get batteries for these because we will need, otherwise we will need a power cord going to each camera. And since we're scattered all over the football field, that is a nightmare. Batteries would be great. The camera has, cameras have batteries that last about eight hours. Uh, I'm not worried about those. Uh, and then, so I've got four cameras being tested right now. So there's one there. There's one over here in the corner. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark. Uh, and they each have a spark hook up to them and feeding a signal. There's one more right over there. Uh, and I've got another one somewhere in there. And then I've got them all feeding into the TriCaster here. And the TriCaster is gonna stay in the studio. Uh, but anyway, we basically go to the TriCaster here and I pick, let's see if I can do that. If I click that little gearbox, choose the input and I can pick each one of my sparks and they're there. And then I mix them. I'm gonna have to set up a layout first um, and I'm not sure I like, we're not going to do the four by four, but that's just so I can see everything here and we will test stream. I think I've got a stream key set in there, uh, but we will also record just in case. And I can actually, well, let me not start recording now, but I can set how many I'm going to record. For example, I can record that mix of four. And at the same time, I think I can record three other streams. So I can record input one, two, three, um, I don't know if I can record four at the same time, but they're gonna to go to different discs. So you'll see that like input one is gonna to go to the E drive, input two is gonna to go to the D drive, and then three is gonna go back to the E and four is gonna go back to the D. I don't know, uh, that would be recording five different things at the same time. I'd probably not rather, well, yeah. So we will likely not do the four inputs here. I'll, I'll take those out. And I'll just put memory cards in the cameras. But anyway, so that's the testing phase. The next stage in my testing is to um, connect them all to the same switch. So what I mean by that is right now, each camera is plugged into a different spot on our network. But out there on the football field, we're only gonna have one. So like that camera's plugged into a ethernet jack right there. That one's right there. Uh, we're gonna end up taking this out to the football field. And this is gonna sit at the center table and we're gonna have ethernet cables going to each of the four cameras and then one to the laptop and good thing I think I think I have eight so I'll need one input and that leaves me seven for the five devices I need anyway and that doesn't even count the communications so we'll talk more about that later okay so my next step is I am trying to decide if I want to stick with the four camera shoot that we usually do which is kind of like this which is uh, more like this here um, or and I've got to figure out how the cables are going to run so I'm on my way to the track right now to measure from this side of the track over here to the center how much cable I'm going to need and then do I have enough cable to go clear around here anyway so that's what's going on now um, yeah I would like I wouldn't mind doing a three camera shoot which is like that um, because it's less to set up, less to take down. Uh, simpler is always better, but more coverage is also better. Anyway. Okay, so my best guess is that that's where we're gonna have the stage. Um, and I've got my, my clipboard over there. And following here, we have to go around the stage and down here. This is almost 100 feet. And then I would need another 100 feet to go down to where cameras two and three would be. 
this is where camera four would be and then opposite that would be camera one with the stage right there so we would go camera one camera two camera three why is everything going out of focus anyway and then camera four that's for a four camera shoot if i do just three cameras i'm only going to need uh, i'll have a camera one right there camera two right here and camera three would be behind the stage right there um and all i would need to really worry about is getting internet from the press box down and underneath the bleachers across here then i would also get power from over there and then my communication system would start right there and spread out i really like the idea of three cameras um anyway we'll see